So I'm looking through my emails and this comes up. Comfiest shoes ever. So you know what I needed to do? Get the Uggs, test them out for you and for my bunion and see how it works. So here it is. So I got the Platform Mini Classic in black. And this is what it looks like. I'm usually a size seven and a half in shoes, but then they only sell full sizes on the website. And I think just like all Ugg boots, they're just either seven or eight. And I chose eight because I thought maybe it might be too tight for my bunion, we'll see. So I feel there were two types of millennials when Uggs first came popular in the early 2000s. You either love them and they fit with everything that you owned, or you hated them without trying them on because you just judged them by the way they looked and felt that it was appropriate that they were called Uggs because they were just ugly to you. And now 15 years later, here I am, I'm willing to give you a chance. So first impressions, I'm not a fan. They're huge, like they're so chunky and big and and so not something I'm used to, but I did want to see what the hype was all about because, you know, of this picture. So yeah, but it might just be me. I mean, if I try them on with different outfits, it might change my mind. And then if I put my hand in it, it feels so soft and warm inside. So I am excited to put my feet in these guys. Now online says the boots are supposed to be worn without socks because it's supposed to keep your feet warm against the skin, the coziness, the fleece. It feels so nice. <laughs> if these are gloves, these would be like the perfect warm box gloves. Wait, yeah, let's put them on my feet. So it might be the color of the boots because most cute looking Uggs are the ones we know all too well, like the brown camel ones, but I got the black thinking it could be more versatile. And I remember any rain that got on those brown boots, it just didn't look good. But to be completely honest, like do these look like steel toed boots to you? So for the sizing, they are a little bit too big for my left no bunion foot, but I can feel a little bit of a squish on my right bunion foot. Like that's where the bunion is and I can feel it, but it doesn't hurt. I think it has something to do with the boot not having any arch support right here. And I am quite flat footed and that is a bad thing, but I feel with these boots, my ankles are turning inwards when I walk in them. And just to say it again, they are like quite heavy. So that's why I mentioned the steel toed boot style. Now, don't get me wrong. I know I've been bashing these boots for the past however many minutes. So let's try them on with some outfits. Maybe it will change my mind. So I think when you have footwear this chunky, it makes sense to have like skinny jeans on. I paired it with a wool coat on the left and then a leather jacket on the right. I mean, they both work. I think it's because like the black jeans really blend into the shoes. My husband's gonna hate these jeans. <laughs> But I mean like, it's a fun outfit. It doesn't look too out there or out of place or anything because it's just a lot of black on black. Like if you take a look at my wool coat, it's blue, but it all works out. Like I don't look like I'm wearing steel toed boots here. So it is very, very cute. Here I'm going a little bit more casual. On the right, I have my leggings and my chunky knit sweater to balance out the chunky Ugg boots, but then with the slim fit underneath. And also on the left, I got my puffer jacket on and the puffer jacket is already super big as well. And I didn't want my whole look to look huge. So that's why I put on the thick cotton shorts and the turtleneck. And I think this works pretty well. Now, you're not always gonna be wearing like the big puffer jacket. So then I took it off just to see how it works with just the shorts and the turtleneck and I think it makes a really cute little outfit. I think a little bit more accessories would work. The jacket isn't a good enough accessory to be carrying around but yeah I think Kitty like okay Kitty doesn't like it but <laughs> Yeah, what do you think of this outfit? So because the bare leg worked so well with the Uggs, I threw on a sweater dress and this really, really works because the sweater dress is so tight. Like it really showcases the boots. It's not taking over the entire outfit. And then the leather jacket as well pulls in the black, gray, skin, black. I think that's my favorite outfit. Leather jacket, sweater dress, and then the Ugg boots. So are these the comfiest shoes ever? No. But they are the softest shoes I've worn because I don't put socks on and then the fleece just feels really, really good on your skin. I'm being rudely interrupted right now. 
So anyways, after trying this on with some outfits, they are really, really cute. But I do have to say it collects a lot of dust and the bottom of the platform feels a little foamy. So it scratches up a little bit. But please let me know what you think in the comments. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed already, now is the perfect time. And don't forget to like this video and I will see you over there. Goodbye for now.